Armored Core, 6. Fires of Rubicon producer Yasunori Ogura talks mech action at Taipei Game Show 2023. Bandai Namco hosted an 18-minute interview with Armored Core, 6. Fires of Rubicon producer Yasunori Ogura of From Software as part of its Taipei Game Show 2023 parallel show BNE Fun Live 2023, during which he discusses the game's announcement, development, core elements of the series, story, mech customization, multiplayer, and more. It's been 10 years now since the previous title in the series, so I know how long we've kept our fans waiting for this. The reaction reminded me just how many fans the series has. In fact, last year marked the 25th anniversary of the series' creation, so I was very glad we were able to make the announcement then. It was a relief to make that target. In many ways, I feel bad that we have kept you all waiting so long, and we are so very grateful to all our fans who reacted with such enthusiasm. The first title in the Armored Core series was released by From Software immediately following our entry into game development. We released other titles, like King's Field, at around the same time, but this game was released in 1997 as an exclusive title for the PlayStation. The most recent title in the series was released exactly 10 years ago, 2013's Armored Core, Verdict Day, the 15th title in the series. The most characteristic element of the series is how it allows you to piece together parts to create your own custom mech, which you then use in the action part of the game. Players can use various different cores, heads, and weapons, combining these parts together with complete freedom to create their very own mech with which to complete the game's missions. That process lies at the core of the series. The series contains several titles, and their stories vary sometimes featuring desolate wastelands or evil corporations. There are always missions to complete, which bring you closer to the truth at the heart of each tale. It's an action series, but one with a tremendous depth in terms of both story and customization. The customization element, in particular, involving the free assembly of parts, can be very deep and complex, but is also one of the most rewarding parts of playing these games. Trial and error plays a large role, as you develop your own ideal mech, both in terms of performance, and indeed appearance. I guess that's the key point. There was never any intention to leave this large a gap. We've made a number of titles in the interim, and seen a lot of extremely talented developers grow into their roles. Many of us, including Mr. Miyazaki, our CEO, and myself as well, of course, have always wanted to create a new Armored Core title. So there was never really any question that one day we would return to the series. The only real obstacle standing between us and the development of a new title was that our company always had so many different titles on the go, and we had to make sure that our resources were appropriately distributed. And, unfortunately, it took quite a long time before we reached the situation that we were ready to begin. His title for this game is Initial Game Director, which means he directed the initial phases of the game's development. Obviously, he didn't do that alone, but he worked together with people like Kenneth Chan, co-director and producer of Fires of Rubicon, as well as a range of other developers, to establish the game's foundation. This includes such elements as map design, action fundamentals, and other core elements at the game's heart.